see that cloud? Of yeah, a bunch of dust just came off. Oh! Come look! What up, what up? It's Will here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, we are breaking in a composite bat. Uh, we got the Rawlings Quattro here, never been hit, brand new out of the wrapper uh, from 2018. Guys, this bat has tons of hype. Uh, literally one of the best BB Core bats over the last three years. So big thanks to Mad Max over at Closeout Bats for getting us this brand new Rawlings Quattro. You actually saw a lot of college guys swing this and not a lot of college guys swing composite bats, but with those Rawlings schools, they were swinging this thing like crazy. Uh, specifically, my buddies over at the University of Utah were swinging this bat and they freaking loved it. So uh, the Quattro, the glow stick. Uh, guys, I really want to see if breaking in a BB Core actually does that much. So like with, uh, with a U-Trip trip bat with like a drop 10 or drop five for example those barrels really have a lot of freedom to open up because there's there's a lot less like safety restrictions on how good the bat can be whereas bb core there's a lot more restricting it a bat can only be so good right so what i want to find out today is if we see a big jump in exit velo from zero swings up to like 50 to 100 swings uh, so cam and i are going to take some hacks on this thing jt's going to be uh, recording our exit velo and let's see if breaking in a composite bat actually does something Alrighty, first hacks with the Rawlings Quattro. Let's do this. JT's on the radar gun. Ninety-five. Woo! Ninety-five, damn. Alright, here we go. Ninety-six. 96. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Woo! 89. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> what a troll. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's pick him up, do like a full round of BP, and then we'll revisit. Yes, sir. in it. Well, that one pretty dang far though. Wow, Eight, two, one hop, four, four. two hop, one hop, 404. Dude, this is, this is almost meta good. It's the meta, but with a little bit smaller sweet spot, it feels like kind of. I feel that, yeah. Oh, that was killed. I actually hear these break a lot. Like the durability sucks. Really? Yeah. Later. Both fences? Oh, one off the second fence. Dude, that just sounds different. Yeah. Oh, I got that one. That was the last one. That sounded different. Wow. Guys, this is like meta territory, straight up. Like we're talking like 11 and a half or 12 on the bat row scale. This thing is gas. Guys, a <laughs> hundred, like 110 swings. It's freaking broken. Oh my God. Look at that. We literally broke it in. You can successfully break in a bat, at least this one, in 100 swings. All right, guys, so we're about like 100, 120 swings in with really good quality baseballs throwing BP. So like these are like really high impact swings, right? Uh, this thing's clearly broken in because, can you see that? It's starting yeah, to- Yeah, a little it's, bit. It's starting to freaking crack, like straight up. Like it's, it's jagged. It's very clear that it's starting to break. Uh, so I, I honestly thought you would need a lot more swings. Guys, first of all, hands down, this thing is head and shoulders above the new quattro this is twice as good as the red quattro and i've like i've honestly been like so curious like why the heck did they not just make this again and again and again and i actually heard a lot of rumors about durability issues and i'm seeing it firsthand guys we didn't like bp only and it's 75 degrees out here in portland it's not cold these are regular high school game balls 
uh, Marucci NFHS baseballs, and this thing's breaking on us. So I can't imagine how much it would break on like college guys. So that kind of makes sense why they wanted to like sure things up durability wise. Cause this thing, I mean, this is in like a legal range almost. Like once you get up to like 12 on the bat bro scale, like the meta did, uh, you start questioning like, is this really like BB core compliant? Cause it's really good. But uh, anyways, with all the swings on it and clearly it's been broken in, let's see what the new exit velos are here and see if we actually see an, uh, an increase. All right guys, new plan. Because this thing is starting to break and we wanna like really break it. If we're gonna break it, we wanna break it, right? So uh, we're gonna get uh, front toss exit velos again after this thing's been broken in. Uh, then we're gonna try to like break it, break it after that. So let's do this. All right, sprained wrist JT's back on the radar gun. <laughs> All right, so my guess is that even though this thing's cracking, we're gonna hit on the other side. I think this is still gonna uh, beat the previous exit velocities we had. We were anywhere from like 89 to 96. So hopefully our average is a bit higher now. Uh, we rest a little bit, had a little water break. I definitely feel very good. Do you feel very tired at all? No. Yeah, I feel good. Guys, we are literally the baseball bat bros, so we swing a lot. So we're not gonna be more tired right now. So, uh, all right, let's try this out. 95. It just sounds lower, less high pitched. It sounds like a drop five. Ooh. 90. 96. Woo. 94. What does that sound? <laughs> Ice cream. Like for the ice cream truck. 94, 93, 95, 90, 90, 92. John, give the people an update on your wrist. They're worried about you. So basically, I was hitting and I sprained my wrist. You know, nothing to write home about, but It'll get better if I rest, so you won't see me in a few videos. See you guys. I'll, I'll be up, I'll be behind the camera rooting the guys on the. He's here for moral support. Mm. All right, we got a little crack going. Let's uh, we're gonna hit on that crack and see what happens here. I've never actually broken uh, a composite BB core like all the way. I've always swung like one piece alloys and they don't really break. They last forever. So there we go. I'm back. Oh. oh. That's that, dude, that like already broke it a bunch. Oh my God. Oh what? no. Oh my God, that felt like it went in the back. So there's an ice cream truck just parked behind right center right now. So sorry if the audio is musical. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Look, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's awful. Oh my god. Did you square that? It kind of sounds Oh my like god. <laughs> right there. Oh. oh, it broke again, boys. <laughs> okay, this is no longer a bat review. This is just a science experiment. <laughs> <laughs> I got this bat in the mail today. Oh my. Dude, I'm so worried. What? Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah, it curved. You see the way it bounced? <laughs> I hit that to it, center. Dude, it freaking swing shots the ball. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh that, that was. Sound right, you man. squared that up so well. Oh, did you see a bounce? Yes. That was a two hop. All right, update. Slowly but surely. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen. It's All right. Pro, this is one of the best BB core bats ever. Con, this is one of the most fragile BB core bats ever. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh my. a piece flew off. That was a bad one. There's a hole in the middle. This is probably dangerous. Oh, the knock. Oh. Update. Johnny, toss me that ball. Oh. 
<laughs> what? I don't know if it's gonna snap in half. That had ride. A, wait, that had like the most backspin I've ever <laughs> seen. Oh, that okay. broke it good. It now sounds like there's a two liter soda bottle on the inside oh, of it. Yeah, that broke it good. Update number 13. One of the BB core goats just taking it for the team. Ooh, that, oh. there's like a big poof right there. Yeah, what? Oh, you see that cloud? Of yeah, dust? a bunch of dust just came off. Oh, come look. Update number 14. A tectonic plate is rising out <laughs> of the Quattro. Oh, that bent. Oh. No, it's still alive. What? All right, guys. So it's pretty darn broken right now. I think if they hit it off the end, this baby's going to come apart. Single. Oh. ASMR. Update number 15. There's a shake it out. There's a there's a hole in the barrel. Uh, we just got to get this side and it's it's going to go. Oh, oh the rod. <laughs> Dennis Rodman. Oh, oh getting there. Oh my. Update that, number 16. There is a Look at it from the side. <laughs> official sized hole, perfect for a game ball or maybe like a golf ball in the barrel. So we're gonna have to, oh my God. We're gonna have to uh, hit it on the side now, I guess. All right, other side, Cam. It's is gone, it, oh my God. Is it light? Everybody's just quiet. It's pretty light, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. It's ready, boys. The moment you've all been waiting for. I got a, you, <laughs> I've got a riot shield. Any last words, Quattro? All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Update 18. It's done, boys. Rip. F in the chat for the Quattro. All right, guys, so moral of the story, uh, it really shouldn't take that long to break in a composite bat. Uh, it's not like it's cold. Again, it's like 75 degrees today. That's hot for Portland. We're using regular game balls. We're not using like extra hard balls or anything. Uh, we put, I mean, just like a uh, hundred good BP swings on this thing and it started to crack. And I mean, basically the way these composite bats work, the more broken apart the composite material gets in here, you can see it's literally just like, it's almost like plastic almost. It's just a bunch of these like flaky layers of like carbon fiber, right? And the more those break apart, the more the glue holding that together uh, breaks apart, the bouncier and more responsive this barrel comes, but eventually it's gonna break. And part of the BB core standard actually requires these bats to break at a certain point so they don't get like too good, right? So, I mean, this broke kind of because like, uh, the NFHS and the, the BB core kind of governing body requires these bats to break at a certain point. So uh, there you have it, guys. The Quattro broken in and broken. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. One hand. Oh, that'll break it.